Hi, welcome to another video of um, We Had Jiggles Views with the Home Loan Quick Start Demo. And this is the part three of the series. In the series, we're trying to take you through um, building um, a JBoss camera application from scratch. And um, let's, let's get started with it. Um, so, so from previous demo or previous part of the demo, we have gone through um, um, a Home Loan integration system, which is going to do the housing appraisal. In part one of the demo, we have take you to look at how to read a file from a folder and place it into um, different messaging queue based on its content. And the second part um, that we did is we we have taken the customer information from messaging queue and then we're gonna then we stored it into the database. So um, now we've come to part three of our demo. So in this part three of demo, we're going to handle the actual appraisal. Um, but before we go into the appraisal. Um, there are several things that we need to do because um, the only information we've given is the address of of the house. So um, so the the number the housing value actually depending on uh, many different factors, and for in in our situation we want to make sure that the number of schools surrounding the house gets more price. So for that we want to have um, interaction with the Google App Engine which is going to give us the number of schools within um, 200 parameters um, of the region. We're going to see how, ma how many numbers of schools around. And based on that value, we're going to praise this uh, house and give it uh, 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 a value to this house. And um, for Google App Engine, there are actually two steps. First of all, we have to get location of the address. So it's like um, the X and Y location of the house on the map. Then we're going to use that location to locate um, numbers of schools around, surrounded um, of the location. And um, because we're building it in a microservices way, um, so I'm breaking things down into different uh, profiles so I'm able to later on install them on different containers. And we can do that, and I can distribute all the different containers in separate locations. Um, but by that, uh, we don't want to actually um, break every single thing down because it's going to take uh, because because by contrary it's going to make it more harder to monitor so what I have done in this demo is breaking the housing part into one single application but in the nature of camel um, uh, it's it's really easy to break break them down into different routes and later on if you want if you decide to break them down into another separate bundle or different separate locations you can do that too and here um, so so what I'm doing in this housing appraisal in this part three of the demo is going through the, the two the, the two routes within that the same application, which is getting the location of the, the address and then um and then um getting the numbers of schools from the Google App Engine. So this part will be we're focusing on the Google Google App Engine part. Um so let's get started with our demo. Let's get started by creating the fuse and uh, fuse project in JBoss Developer Studio. And in this, in this project, I'm going to call it the house appraisal project because it's all about um, the housing appraisal. And make sure that you uh, select the blueprint archetype because this is the this is archetype we'll be using for the for our entire home loan demo. And what the archetype does, it's going to generate the format the, the the project structure for you, so you don't have to worry about you know what sort of photos I need to uh, to create as a a fuse project bundle. And now it's gonna take a few seconds for the project to show and build up. And after that, I am going to um, open up the camel context. And within the camel, it's, it will have a already built-in sample um, route inside. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to delete everything. And bef and after I delete the, the sample route, I'm going to set the ActiveMQ settings so it knows where I could find the broker and it has the securities and everything inside as well. So now I have everything that is done. Then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also delete the Java bin that is uh, been that that's been created by the archetype as well because we don't need that, and create our own. So the um so the there the, so we're going to create a projo, and this projo is the is the uh, Java object that I'm going to work with. Um, so here is what the Pojo looks like. It has every single attributes I need uh, for from the housing, uh, from the housing data that I will receive. 
and I'm just copying the uh, the data folder from the previous project into this one because it's easier for me to access here. And um, here is what the house the housing data looks like. It will have national IDs, address, and bedrooms, and land land size of the uh, the housing. So so it goes into the proposal and. Um, and um, check how much it, uh, your uh, house is actually worth. Um, so here, so in this route, I'm going to I'm going to receive the XML file from the vendor and going to call the app engine and check and get the location of the address from the Google App Engine. So here, I'm going to receive the entire um, housing information from a messaging queue, which is called location. And then I'm going to convert my uh, con my XML informations into Pojo, so it's easier to work with. Here I'm going to give it a name, so um, it's transformation ID because I'm transforming um, XML file into a Java Pojo bin. And um, here I'm going to uh, just um, set our, the the source type and the target type. So um, I'm just selecting what kind of um, what kind of XML I have, I have a choice of having an XML schema or I have a choice of um, using the, the instance itself and then this is the target type and here you see um, a GUI then with this GUI you can actually use um, the drag and drop to map between the two source and the target uh, endpoint or the target data, data format and I'm just mapping all the attributes together and here it is it will automatically create, uh, generates, and converts everything for you. And you see that uh, in you see a component appear in the canvas. And what happens is this this message will go through um, this components and convert things for you. So after that, um, I am going to actually extract the uh, one of the attributes from the Pojo because I'm actually using that address and I'm sending this address into into Google Google App Engine. So here I'm just using a set body to set the information into my uh, camel body, message body. So it will be the main focus of my information. And I'm just using um, a, a simple language, uh, simple language expression type. You know, getting out, getting the address out from from my Pojo. And what happens next is I am going to create a class, and this is a pure Java object which um, inherits from nothing and I'm calling it a processor because it's actually doing some kind of processing and it is, I'm going to call it a house info processor okay um oops uh, this should be in the class name so now I have created uh, this processor and what this processor does is actually update my address into the required format in Google App Engine there is a certain type because I need to replace the blank space with the plus and things like that in Google App Engine. So um, after that, I'm going to add this bin. I'm going to actually um, add this bin into my camel route. So so it actually reads the body. So it actually reads the address and then convert it into the types I re I needed. Then I'm actually um, paste um, copying the properties files. You know this. Uh, the, the Google property and the SQL properties I need and those were the um, the custom oh, those were the informations or the attributes I need to pass in when I'm calling Google App Engine and um, SQL is just for the next project so don't worry about it in this one and for the, my route but it's not in this one so um, I'm going to do a quick logging before uh, I, I'm actually calling it calling the Google App Engine so in this logging, I'm just um, pasting out the uh, the URL or the AP, the URL APIs I'm going to call. Um, I'm just printing out the entire URL just for uh, just for log, and then I'm using the recip the recipient list, uh, and it's going to have the HTTP components endpoint inside. So I have um, I can actually add the the Google. This is the key I need to um, insert uh, for every Google App Engine, so uh, and the address as well. So it's just like adding a URL API into it. And what happens is it's it's going to return um, um, a document, and this document is in um, in a JSON format. So um, what happens 
is I'm going to I'm going to because I'm going to work with this JSON content, so I'm going to actually um, convert do a marshal a marshal this content into uh, into a JSON data. So if if you if you go to a marshal, it'll do, it'll, it'll just do it automatically. So if you just go to a marshal and choose, I'm going to convert it into a JSON format type. Uh, where is it JSON yep and here you see JSON format and uh, and I'm going to use a Jackson library so what happens is it's going to convert it into a JSON object that I can actually um, traverse down and get the data um, get the data that I want so now it's actually converting into um, the, the JSON data type so what happens um, is I'm going to extract the uh, the latitude and the latitude, which is the location, um, from from the the JSON format content, and um, let's take a look at the uh, the content here. So you will have a set of um, a JSON content and latitude from the address. So um, here I'm just I'm just traversing through the uh, content of um, of that JSON file and. Just getting the latitude and latitude out to the body, and and that's it. So we're going to create a another another route, and with this route, we're going to read the uh, location from the messaging queue. So I'm going to read it from school number queue here, and um, with this queue, I'm going to get the surrounding number of schools from from this uh, from this location. So what happens is I'm going to set a header, and this is a constant a header because I need it uh, to be one of the attributes I send out with my HTTP for uh, endpoints uh, later. So here, this is just a constant value. And then I'm going to add the recipient list, and, and uh, I'm going to use the HTTP endpoint uh, inside this recipient list as well. So inside this recipient list, I'm, I'm actually going to call the, uh, the Google App Engine again. So here I'm going to just paste the whole entire URL. And with this URL, it's going to request for a number of schools, surrounding schools, and as well as um, giving a Google key inside the, the entire URL as well. And after that, we are going to actually receive the number, we're going to receive um, a list of JSON content as well. And here I'm going to marshal it into the, uh, the JSON data format so I can start working on that. So it's same as the previous one. But, um, and this time the result is, is so much easier because it's going to give you a list of schools, but I only need the numbers of schools. So um, inside the uh, set body, I'm just gonna count like how many uh, schools that, that, that were returned within that JSON content. Um, so now I have everything uh, I need from Google app. We are going to store it now going to do the actual appraisal and store everything into the database. Um, so we'll be in the next video and thanks for watching this video. Thanks.